Well, first of all, I think the clear indication by our clean audit, which is how this would be described, um, means there's no missing funds, there's no fraud, there's nothing that's wrongdoing in the normal sense that people would say an auditor would come in and find something that someone did wrong. So let's put that over here. That's absolutely a fact. Okay. What this comes down to, this is an interpretation of what is a more transparent and better system to track funds. And I had a chance to talk to Roy Ray last night. Rick Marola talked to him uh, earlier a week ago or so, and he's still outraged that, that this auditor has made this finding because he believes, as I do, but l- let me also say, I've already agreed. The auditor is the auditor. It's like the Supreme Court in Ohio. I disagree with the Supreme Court. Many of our residents, if you ask them, do you agree with the Supreme Court decisions of the United States? Many of them would say, no, I don't agree on this and agree. But it's okay. This is America. Supreme Court has the power to make a determination and interpretation of the Constitution. In my opinion, this is very similar. I disagree. But we have agreed to comply, and we're going to do that. And it is simple as what their statement in the audit says, which is that we are going to change our accounting system and changes in accounting procedures and budget practices. That's the statement that he put in. Right. But but people need to know and have confidence that nothing is missing. The difference is, is that, and, and first of all, we do balance our budget. In other words, there's enough money there to show that we have a balance at the end of the year. We did not go into negative balance on spending. It is that certain funds, and I think that people need to understand the simplistic way of looking at it. If you've ever watched anyone work a cash register, at the end of their shift, they take the tray out. So they they count the money when they sit down to make sure if there's $1,000 or $500. Let's say at a McDonald's restaurant, there could be $500 of change. you got plenty of ones and plenty of fives. The money going in and out of that tray is yours to account for. So the tray gets lifted out, and, and the new person coming in at the next shift brings their tray in. If you think of, if people think of a fund being that tray, okay. what the city has committed to do, which we believe is more transparent, and Roy believes this with everything in him, that if you really look at our tray, our fund, each one of them separate, you can better account for that money coming in and out. And, you know, people need to understand that some of these funds are required by federal law. Federal law, in my opinion, with Ohio still being a donor state, we send more tax dollars to Washington than we get back. I'm going to fight for every federal dollar I can. And when they give us a grant to repair or rebuild a bridge that could fall down, We're going to take that money. And if the federal government says you need to have another separate fund to track so we can track whether or not you're using our funds for something else, we're going to do it. And and I'm sorry that at that point I will get in an argument with the auditor. And I want to make sure that everyone understands, especially in the auditor's office, I didn't start this battle. But the statements, the irresponsible statements of my opponent yesterday and the last couple of weeks, you know, we were told this was confidential. Mm-hmm. And and she's been talking about the auditor's going to do this. She was on your show talking. She mentioned the auditor. I don't know how many times. So I didn't start this battle. But when she asked the question, well, do you think the city's people are uh, to be uh, uh, tr- not trusted but believed? I forget what, how she said it. More than the state auditor? Absolutely. And don't keep in mind, Mr. Yost, I didn't start this. But Mr. Yost has a journalism degree, Roy Ray told me last night. He doesn't have an accounting degree. Every one of my finance directors have accounting or economic degrees. And if you're going to put it in terms of who do you believe is right in their interpretation, I'd take Roy Ray. He's been finance chair in the state of Ohio. He was mayor of this city. 